saying? I'm saying it. I don't really want to own a home in America. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to really own a home. And what I mean is I'm not about to I don't want to I don't want to put up all that money to buy a home when I'm capable of doing it, right? When my finances is right like that. Because this is something that <laughs> It's, it's it's crazy to think about this. And I, uh, hold on, let me put this seatbelt on before this loud ass bell come on. But, uh, we don't really own nothing. We don't really own nothing in America. We don't really own nothing, man. Like, like if you think about it, man, anything that you buy, right? That's, you know, and I'm talking about like, like big time stuff, like, you know, houses, cars, you know, things that cost a lot of money, you know? We don't really own it because, we, well, let's keep it on the topic. We don't really own the homes that we buy because you gotta pay t taxes, right? Right? You're never gonna be done. Just you're never just gonna be. Oh, okay. You know, I bought this and it's just mine. No, you gotta keep paying people, right? You gotta keep paying the the you know the government. And this 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 is how crazy it is buying a house, right? I seen a video about this. This will make me kind of want to do this video, like. You got to work hard, right? You know, you got to you got to make so much, you got to you got to you got to go to college or whatever they want you to do, right? To get a good job, okay? However you do that, tra a, a trade, whatever you trying to do, right? And you got to get this good job and you got to work your ass off, okay? And you got to probably do other stuff too cuz you know, it's tough to save money and all of that or whatever on one job right so you gotta use that money from your job and you know to build your credit up right that takes time and effort money all of that right buy get a place rent a place you know you're renting a place you know because a lot of i don't really know nobody who just comes out straight out the gate buying a house so you're renting that's a lot of money every month out your check. <clears throat> so however you're saving money or making more money to save or whatever, you, you got to do that, right? And it's not easy. So you're saving money through the years, okay? Maybe you invested in stocks or something, or maybe you're doing some other type of stuff that'll bring you some money. So I don't know how, but by, you know, by the grace of God, you got enough money stacked up to where you can buy a house one day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to look for the house, right? And no, keep this, keep in mind, the government not helping you do none of this stuff. And in fact, they making it harder for you by taxing you on everything, every day. Everything you buy, they tax in. They take the money out your check from your job. Every money you make on your side hustles, everything they taxing you. Taking money out of your money that you're making. So they making it harder for you in life right but you're doing it and you're doing good you're stacking your money you got a nice little pile of money saved up right so you, okay now you're looking for a house to buy like oh shit okay i'm you know i'm doing good in life i'm i'm, I'm about to buy a house you finally find a house to buy right you buy the house and you know however you bought it you may have needed a loan or whatever all of that right so now now you're you know now you're in debt whatever or if you're kind of rich or whatever you bought the house straight out but okay now you own the house okay let's say oh shit the house is paid off or whatever now you know the house is yours you bought the house no it's not yours because you know guess who's still in your pocket the government 
taking you got to pay them every often right you got to keep paying them no matter what okay all right fuck it you know i didn't hit it up i didn't got hella money you know what i'm saying i'm about to buy this land right here okay so i own the land that my house is on all right you got to pay the fees for the land it don't stop you thought you're not gonna pay them because you know what if you don't they coming to take all of that away the stuff that you spent your whole life, right? Your whole life, all of your energy and, 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 and time that you have, time is precious, on accumulating this, this house here or this land, right? If you come into hard times and you can't pay that, they're taking it, right? So why do all that to, why do all that? When you could just, I'm going to just rent. I'm going to just rent this place. Because you know what? If something happened, I could just go to another place. Or another place. Now I'm not, now if I'm wealthy, wealthy, I, okay. You know, I bought houses, I bought places, land, I own acres. Of course. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to do this stuff. But if you a hard working man, and you barely getting by and your goal in your life is to get up buy a house how it is how to how you know the traditional you know you barely getting by in life and you just spent all your money on buying this house that's how traditional people did you know what i mean and that was the oh i made it in life i bought a house now you broke but you bought your house your house paid for but you broke i'm not do i'm not with that you know what i'm saying i'm not with that Buying a house to me is not, I don't care about leaving a house to my kids if I'm out here striving and I'm broke. No, no. For me, because I'm going to teach my kids how to make money, how to do their thing to where they can rent their own place and they move, get, get older enough. They can buy it if they want to go that route and buy. However they do, I'm going to teach them what I know to where I don't need to have a house to leave to my kids or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I'm wealthier enough to do it where it's like, oh, it's not even a, it doesn't hurt me at all to do this stuff, like buy a house, buy this land over here, then yeah, I'm going to do it. It's just like buying a car or buying some damn clothes if I'm wealthy. But if I'm barely getting by and my whole goal in life was to buy this house, it's not worth it to me because as soon as I come into hard times after all of them years of trying to get the house, they could I come into hard times I can't pay. They can take it, you know, or God forbid when I when I'm go pass on from this life and my kids got it or whatever, they lose it or something. All of my life work is just they could take it. And, you know, I may not know all the details about all of this stuff or how it works, but that's pretty much summing it up, right? Like, you don't actually own the shit. <laughs> so, now I can see, okay, if you're in the real estate business, you bought a house just to put somebody in it. And now it pays for itself and this and that. Okay, if you're in business doing this stuff, that's a different kind of story. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm talking about the people who is, man, you know who I'm talking about. Like, they, they life journey was to buy a house. To own a house. You, you don't really own it. It's just like the cars and shit. Like, you buy this car, you know what I'm saying? And But you don't really own it. Because you, if you, the minute that you don't pay, your, your, your taxes, your fees... Keep the motherfucker uh, updated or whatever. They could come take your car. You know what I'm saying? Like you, they pull you over. You ain't up to date or whatever. They could take it. So how do you own this 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 item? You don't really own it. If they can take it from you legally, just like up, oh, give it to me. You don't own it. You just borrowing it. You paying to borrow it. And that's what, that's, like, ain't that uh, not right, you know? 
it's crazy. So, I mean, in my opinion, I'm I'm just looking out for myself when I say I'm not about to put everything I worked for and, and accumulated and saved into a house to live in that as soon as I stop, as soon as I don't pay these people, they're taking my house, that I put everything on the line for it. It don't make sense. Now, if I don't pay this little monthly bill where I'm renting at and they kick me out, that's not my life money there. That's just a little, you know, a couple thousand or whatever it may be. That's not hundreds of thousands of dollars. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. So that's just how I feel about it. Let me know what you think about it, man. We don't really own shit in this world. It's crazy. I don't know.